Hey, so I'm on my way to Ashland driving up Highway 13. I'm looking forward to kayaking in Lake Superior, checking out the murals in the town. But along the way, I had to stop near Mellon and check out Copper Falls State Park. It's one of my favorite parks, and it starts with this gorgeous view of the Bad River, which ain't bad at all. back here in Ashland. It's actually been a few years since I've been here. It's a beautiful summer day. Lake Superior looked gorgeous on the way in. Copper Falls was amazing. And now I get to explore the town. The murals, Deepwater Grill and South Shore Brewery is right next door. I'm looking forward to walking around downtown, checking out the whole city, and enjoying a nice stay in this new cobblestone. Nice big TV desk to work in. Classic pictures of Ashland, and wow, look at this. What a gorgeous view. All right, time to get out there and check out the town. This is one cool tunnel, and not just because it makes your voice cool and reverby, but on the side, it's maps of the area, it's nature, it's murals of birds. Hey Mark. Eric, welcome to Ashland. Great to be here. Yeah, fantastic. Great hotel you have here, I love it. Thank you so much. So, you actually were, played a crucial role in starting South Shore Brewery here. And now it's also a restaurant, which you have. Correct. So tell me what made you want to be in the restaurant business, too. You know, in 1979, I was a senior in high school, and my dad said to me, you've got to get a job. So my first job was washing dishes, and I've been in the restaurant business ever since. I started the brewery. We were the seventh craft brewery in the state of Wisconsin. Early on, I know. I love and it. look at things now. Right. That's so, great. yeah, we've been here at this location over 20 years. So you also got involved with Cobblestone here in Ashland. What made you want to get into hotels, too? You know, I, when I was working here uh, and listening to the customers talk about they wanted to stay close so that they could sample some of these great beers and walk back to their rooms, uh, it occurred to me that if we had a hotel right next door, it would make sense. So one demand created supply, and then another supply created demand. Yes. This is like an economics lesson. The fact that they're building in these downtowns of these smaller cities and towns, I think is really cool. And the fact that the key was it for it to be walkable. Absolutely. Not just to the brewery, but to the rest of downtown. It gives you an opportunity to you know, park your car and get out, stretch your legs, and see what the town's all about. Uh, but I'm looking to have dinner here in a moment. What do you recommend here? We've got a cold smoked uh, ribeye steak that's the best. But honestly, I think you should have the whitefish. Well, I'm thinking some seafood, actually lake food, really. Yeah, yeah. Fresh whitefish, uh, it's caught by nets uh, right out of Bayfield. And I would say probably one out of three people are ordering the fish. Cheers to that. Cajun broil. It was swimming in Lake Superior maybe 24 hours ago. Sometimes you don't need things deep fried. Sometimes. This is one of those times. Ah, so up and at him, looks like we're going kayaking on Lake Superior today, which is gonna be exciting. And a pretty new experience for me. Never done it on a great lake before. But first, Little OJ, little workout. <laughs> Captain Shelley, Eric Paulson, nice Hi, to meet Eric. you. All right, Captain Shelley, we're safe right here in the docks by the mainland in Red Cliff. We're going out on the waters, though. Where are you taking? Well, how does 22 miles out into Lake Superior, the Gitchagumi, 
sound to you? Nautical miles? One way, one way. Nautical? Nautical. All right, I'm in for that. To Devil's Island, where there's dramatic sea caves that it took millions of years to create. What did you think of Devil's Island Sea Cave? The island's well named. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Because uh, it's hella awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but I've never gone kayaking on one of the Great Lakes. I've been on rivers and inland lakes. On Lake Superior, it's really cool. And just hearing the waves crashing into those caves, the colors when you're under the caves, looking up, I mean, it's a whole sea of color. And there's more than just devils. There's 21 islands with mm -hmm. beautiful sandy beaches. 50 miles of hiking trails that are beautiful. You can hike an island and be the only one on the island. When I have my customers on the boat and bring them out to Devil's Island, I just get so much joy from the happiness they get. I just love showing this. They, they leave so impressed, and that's a great living to make when you can do that. Like when it was time to get out, I was like, I don't want to get out. <laughs> Nobody does here. Good things have to Nobody come to an end to eventually, stop. right? Another great morning here in Ashland. Great stay at the Cobblestone here. Beautiful hotel right downtown. Got to enjoy South Shore Brewery and the Deepwater Grill again. But I'm telling you, the kayaking on Lake Superior, checking out the downtown murals, the natural beauty of the area, starting with Copper Falls State Park on the way up here. Just a fantastic time here in Ashland. I highly, highly recommend it. And it's a great gateway to Washburn Bayfield and points north. So check it out next time you're in Ashland. And I hope you come soon because it's a lot of fun. I will see you next time.